Hey, it's Swift Strange PC, and on this video, another episode of Swift Talk, we're going to talk about Spider Man 2. We're basically going to do a recap that's going to get you caught up on what's going on with the game. Um, as you know, if you go look through my page, I have had a chance to interview Najee Jitter. He's the voice actor of Miles Morales, Spider Man from the PS4 and PS5 video game. And he's pretty awesome he did give a couple little things here and there about you know how he feels about playing that character and how he wants to represent that character and uh also like this recap is going to help you so when you do pick up the spider-man 2 game you know exactly what you're getting into and uh if you haven't played spider-man 1 and you haven't played the basically the remastered version with all the dlc at it plus miles morales because it segues right into it right uh, Peter Parker goes on a vacation for Christmas and then Miles Morales is left for his Christmas vacation to basically protect the city from many threats and his threat is more personal and he makes well he doesn't make the ultimate sacrifice uh, by himself his his uh, other counterpart the villain also which is more so like a I wouldn't even say a real villain more so like an antagonist. Uh, makes the ultimate sacrifice and kills herself and then the villain goes to jail and you know the whole nine happens after that so we're gonna do the recap so you can know what you're getting into so let's see Switch screens here so we can look at the article. So, recapping Spider Man PS4 Miles Morales story ahead of Spider Man 2's release. So, that's what we're basically doing right now in this episode of Swift Talk. Keep it real brief and quick. So, Insomniac's Marvel Spider Man series has been turned out to be one of Sony's most successful and promising. And the quality of these games comes down to solid gameplay fundamentals, especially the web swinging combat, but they showcase some storytelling chops as well as both Spider-Man games offer great performance, intriguing conflicts, and plots that blend essential Spider-Man storylines with new characters and concepts. Spider-Man 2 looks to continue the engaging story established in the first two games, introducing the new renditions of iconic characters like Kraven the Hunter, Harry Osborn. Harry Osborn is going to come back basically as Venom. Um, I think they're changing that whole him turning into the Green Goblin and separating that from each other. Like I'm, I'm really tired of seeing Baby Green Lantern. I, I meant Green Goblin. I prefer uh, his father being Green Goblin. But anyway. Along with all new versions of symbiote plot, while this all exciting story of Spider-Man 2 wouldn't be possible without the groundwork performed by Marvel Spider-Man and Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, both games established the Earth 1048. So if you have seen Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, um, you would know that the entire multiverse of Spider-Man and its different various universes all have a different number and all of them also have you know access even though they don't say it in the game to that hub that miguel is over for 2099 the one that has spearheaded this spider team or whatnot i forgot what the name of the team was but you do see this spider-man in there so go watch that movie and you know that gives you a little added plot to also this game spider-man 2 now i don't know if that game falls in line with the movie but he's in the, he's in the movie like the, the spider-man now they didn't put miles morales in there because the movie has miles morales as the main character in his earth and the whole point of it is to say that he's the only miles morales that ever existed because that spider he got bit by came from another universe where where basically that miles lost his dad and it ended up turning into problem miles or whatnot so yeah like we gotta see that payoff when that movie comes out but i'm just saying he's in that movie and it explains the multiverse for spider-man um even better than the mcu 
So Peter Parker and Miles cementing them as respectable versions of the characters that stand alongside their popular film and comer, uh, comic counterparts. Like I said, there's a lot of potential for Spider-Man's two story as it will continue to build upon the character concepts and com conflicts present in the first two games. So, you know, you can kind of consider Miles Morales like Spider-Man the game one and a half because um, Spider-Man Peter Parker is still in it. He's just not uh, active, you know, only in the beginning and the end. Marvel's Spider-Man introduced the world of Insomniac's vision of Spider-Man, establishing Lori Lothal's Peter Parker, Najee Jeter, Miles Morales, along with other characters like Aunt May, Dr. Otto Octavius, Norman Osborn. These characters and others form the backbone of game plot. And many likely to play significant roles in Marvel Spider-Man 2. The main conflict of Marvel Spider-Man centers on a few iconic Spider-Man villains. Norma Osborn, who is serving as New York mayor during the game, makes powerful enemies in Martin Lee, aka Mr. Negative, and Otto Octavius. The Marvel Spider-Man story gets rather complicated from that point, but here are some key takedowns. Martin Lee wants to leverage Devil's Breath, a bioweapon to take over New York City. His quest results in a great deal of carnage, with one particular violent act of terrorism leaving Jefferson Davis, father of Miles Morales, dead. So, Mr. Negative uh, Martin Lee is the reason for uh, Miles' dad dying in this universe. So, he's supposed to die in every universe. And then in the film, they are trying to expand upon that and say, no, we don't want that to happen. Family is everything. And he's willing, that Miles is willing to risk it all to keep his dad from dying. But like I said, like, as you can see here, you know, the, the, it, 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 it's just lining up, you know, but in a different way. You know, with the whole, they're killing fathers off. That's a big Marvel trope they always do is kill your dad off. They don't never kill the moms, but... Anyways, uh, additionally, Otto Octavius has his mind corrupted by his research and turns into Dr. Octopus. So you fight him at the end of the game and it turns into like this big old deal where you basically have to fight the Senator Six. Crazy fight, like crazy fight. I've never seen a video game go that deep into a boss fight like the one you do in the first Spider-Man game when they try, when they you know basically have that on the screen for the first time for a video game but this uh you know he then forms the sinister six with lee unleashes devil's breath on the city peter defeats the villains and finds an antidote to devil's breath but developing me sacrificing aunt may the game ends with peter learning that miles has fighter powers Now we're recapping Spider-Man Miles Morales. If you have not played it, they do give you an upgraded version if you got the PS5, like what I just got. Um, I had to upgrade because I'm not going to fall behind when it comes to gaming. I am a gamer. I'm not falling behind ever again. Uh, I'm going to keep up. And I also have to continue to push this because I also want to, you know, do more things with the people who are in this game. And uh, like I said, I had a once in a lifetime opportunity to interview one of the um, voice actors from this game. And I always cherish that. So, like I said, but anyway, Spider-Man Miles Morales game. Players control over the titular character as he temporarily takes over as the wall crawler while Peter is out of town. As a spinoff game, the plot is more pared down by superhero story standards as the fate of just one New York neighborhood hangs in the balance rather than the whole city. The city centers on Tinkerer, a terrorist who targets Roxxon and Energy Corporation. As the story progresses, Miles learns that his childhood friend Finn is actually the Tinkerer and she wants to destroy Roxxon to avenge her brother, um, who was poisoned to death while working on New Form, an experimental energy source for the company. She attempts to use New Form to destroy Roxxon Plaza, but Miles uses his unique power to absorb the energy. And like I said, that was his thing of sacrificing it all to stop her. And I think it even gave him a power boost too, sucking up on the energy. So you're going to see that in the next game. Um, 
Bizarre the energy and stop the explosion. Finn, in a moment of clarity, flies Miles to a safe distance so that he can charge the new form of energy, sacrificing herself in the process. So that's why I said she's more so like an antagonist because the main villain is actually the new form uh, CEO. And uh, she wanted revenge against him. He wanted to stop him and her. So she's more of an antagonist and then she sacrifices her life because he's got so much energy and he had to let it out and it blew her to smithereens. His, his love of his life blew to smithereens. Like, Jesus. But, hey, you know, I think they're going to have him mess with Spider Glenn at some point. Who knows if they ever do multiversal stuff with the games. But like I said, if you look at what they're doing in the movies, there's a possibility we could get some multiverse stuff in the game. I'm just saying, there's a possibility. And at the beginning of my, uh, Marvel Spider-Man, Peter Parker has been Spider-Man for eight years. Okay, so, I mean, he's been Spider-Man a long time. Eight years. That's almost, he's almost 30, if he's not already. But he discovers that he still has many lessons to learn. By contrast, Miles Morales is more akin to an original story with Miles taking the first great lead towards becoming a hero. Each Spider-Man develops in critical ways throughout both games. This character work will surely be significant in the story of the next game. So, yes, uh, Spider-Man 2 is going to be basically uh, Miles' story and um, the other Spider-Man story continue. Like, they're not going to do a whole, okay, you get yours in one game and I get mine in another game you know they kind of already did that so now they're just bringing it back together and then if you want more extra story you know like I said just watch the movies I mean they already established that all of these Spider-Man are all Spider-Man existing at the same time they're just different universes you know different takes of what you know Spider-Man is in his various forms so uh, that's the recap. Like I said, in the first game, it's all about Spider-Man, um, you know, doing his thing and everything and defeating his enemies and stuff like that and learning some new things along the way. Then you got Miles because his father got killed by Dr. Negative in that, mo uh, that game. After Dr. Negative does what he does, then, you know, Miles Morales basically goes on his journey as a hero with his antagonist and villain you know Roxanne being the villain and the tinkerer being the antagonist so that's going to be it for this video i hope you all get the game i'm going to get the game i'm buying it right out of best buy um i'm going to pre-order it like after i get done recording this video and uh i'm going to try to see if i can get nazi jitter on an interview with fan base who are where i work with um, I have been to the fan base HQ. If you go to my fan base, you'll be able to see me in the office. Me, uh, I've also done content interviews with them as well. So I'm plugged all the way in. Fan base is the next wave. Uh, all these other social medias that everybody's on, I mean, they're cool. But I make money as soon as I step on that app. Like, as soon as I show my face, I'm making hearts, love, hearts, love. You know what I'm saying? And I spread love, too. So if you ever come in my spaces... Or if you ever interact with me and leave a comment, because you can make money off my off your comments on Fanbase, I'll, you know, rock with you on there. Now, if you want to do that on YouTube in the comment section, knock yourself out. If you don't want to make money, you want to just hang out on YouTube, that's fine, too. That is completely fine. I love all you guys. I appreciate you guys for supporting this channel. We grew from 200 to 250, I mean, uh, 150 to like 252. And beyond, like, I'm just so happy to see that, you know, y'all rocking with us. So this is Swift Talk. And on these, I just do my rants. I get in here. I talk about the news and everything that's going on. Get that Spider-Man 2 because you don't want to be behind and you don't want to get that story spoiled. I'm telling you, you don't want that. So, all right, guys. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next video.